Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey, Calvary. Have you ever made a promise that was difficult to keep? As we continue our look at Samuel, we will see how Samuel's mom fulfilled her promise to the Lord. Hannah promised in her prayer that she would give her son to the Lord. God gave her that son, and now she was going to make good on her promise to dedicate Samuel and to give him to the Lord. For Hannah, this meant that she would leave Samuel at the tabernacle to serve the Lord. But she was not going to do this until the child had grown enough and was independent enough to not need to nurse. So for the first several years of Samuel's life, Hannah doesn't go to worship at Shiloh in the tabernacle. She and Samuel remain at home. And then when Samuel is old enough to survive without his mom nursing him, that's probably around the age of three or four, Hannah brings him to the temple. So let's read what happens in uh, 1 Samuel 1. We're going to start in verse 24. And when she had weaned him, she took him up with her along with a three-year-old bull, an ephah of flour and a skin of wine. And she brought him to the house of the Lord at Shiloh, and the child was young. Then they slaughtered the bull, and they brought the child to Eli. And she said, O oh my Lord, as you live, my Lord, I am the woman who is standing here in your presence praying to the Lord. For this child I prayed, and the Lord has granted me my petition that I made to him. Therefore, I have lent him to the Lord as long as he lives. He is lent to the Lord. So 1 Samuel 2 then records this prayer of praise that Hannah prayed. After this prayer, the Bible says that Hannah and her husband went home while the young boy Samuel remained at the temple ministering to the Lord in the presence of Eli, the priest. So how do we live today in light of what the Bible is telling us? So yesterday, as we looked at Hannah and her prayer, we saw the importance of prayer and the importance of dedicating our children to the Lord. Next, in Hannah, we see the importance of honoring our commitments to the Lord and putting the Lord first. Hannah kept her promise to the Lord. She sacrificed greatly in order to remain true to the promise that she made to God. This reminds me of what Jesus says is the greatest commandment. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Hannah demonstrated that kind of love as she leaves her child in the hands of God. Leaving Samuel to serve God in the tabernacle is a grand gesture. It communicates that, God, you're more important than my son. I need God more than I need to be with my child. It also shows the reality that my child needs God more than me, his own parent. God and loving him is central to all that Hannah does here in this passage. So how about you? I mean, I hear people all the time say, I love my kids. I would do anything for them. Or I hear people say, my grandkids are my all in all. I'll do anything for them. But really, that all in kind of love, that goes to God first. Do you put God first in your family? Is he first in all of your relationships? Do God's desires rank as your number one concern? Do you know that your kids and your grandkids need to know God more than anything else in this world. Here's some truths. It doesn't matter what sports your kiddos play as long as they thank God for their ability to play them. It doesn't matter what school they go to as long as they use their ability to read to get to know God better by opening his word. It doesn't matter what career they end up choosing as long as whatever they do, they do it in order to please God. And it doesn't matter how much they accomplish in this life, as long as they know Jesus in their eternal life. I think Hannah had this type of God-first perspective. And so the Bible says that she lent her son to God 
for as long as he lived. I hope this, is, this encourages you to put God first in your life and in the life of your family. If Hannah's example has encouraged you today, would you share this video with a friend or give it a thumbs up or leave a message below and have a blessed day, Calvary.